after a few years on the road, we've covered a lot of ground. Unfortunately, it's taken until now for us to realize we need to start exploring more of what covers 71% of Earth's surface. Avid swimmers and snorkelers, we've always agreed with Sebastian. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. This is the story of how to become a mermaid, completing and passing the PADI Open Water Certification course. We don't know where we're going. I need to get my phone. The directions are we're looking for a place with a face on the building. Day one, not nervous at all, almost all excited, so that's great. And the water looks incredibly beautiful, it's warm out, I don't know, what else could you want? And everyone here is super nice, super chill, it's just like, no pressure today, you just have to learn it today, you know what I mean? It's not, we're not going to like 100 feet or anything, so it's just gonna be like about getting comfortable, so hopefully today is the easiest, I don't know, never done this before, don't know what to expect, definitely excited. Then you're probably nothing like that, that, that nature. Let me know and we can change the thing around. The key for diving is to be as comfortable as possible in any situation and relax as possible, okay? okay. All right, all good? Yeah. Excellent. So, if we have a look at the tank, what is the tank made out of, you know? Metal. Aluminium. Metal. It's alloy, okay? It's alum what do you say? Aluminium. You say aluminium. Yeah, excellent, <laughs> excellent. Just like me. Aluminium, no? The valve form itself. What can we see in now? Nice a hole. Ring. Uh, yeah, an O ring. Excellent, excellent, Tim. Tim's on point Sunday Tim morning. Hurry. One nil to Tim. Tim <laughs> Tim Tim Tim's Tim's gone one nil up against everyone else. Okay, so we've got O ring, a rubber O ring. This all just happened so quick. I know, right? One second I was on a scooter, and now I'm prepared to explore the depths, yeah, just like that. What are we doing right now? I lost some shoes. Oh, they're under there. I don't need them because I'm going in the water. On morning number two and everyone is pretty sleepy, but it's a Monday morning and there are definitely worse things that I've woken up for. <laughs> we couldn't show you much of yesterday because we were a little busy underwater, but we were doing cool skills that I'm sure are very important to learn underwater. Like, you know, of course we did the clearing the mask trick, but it was cool too. We were like completely removing our mask underwater and having to kind of blindly swim around guided and then come back to the circle and put our mask back on and fully clear it out and I didn't even realize you could do that. But so far learning I was most concerned of clearing my ears and even really shallow yesterday it was bothering me a little bit and it wasn't bothering anyone I, like people were just like oh no we were so shallow but I don't know today we go to almost twice the depth of where we were yesterday that's my biggest concern for today so we'll see how it goes well come on we gotta get to the boat First, who wants to set up their gear first? I can go for it. You gonna go for it? Yeah. Excellent, Hudson. Woo! Excellent. Ex take your time, Hudson. Pick a tank and set up. Okay. And go then I will take it afterwards. Very slowly.
saw a shark and it wasn't very scary. Why are you <laughs> That's looking at your me? summary? Because <laughs> I love your summary. Hudson and Emily have kicked our butt on their ability to pressurize and we're just like lagging 15 minutes behind going down and coming up. We have a very slow descent as it's been described. There's a clear rivalry here though, <laughs> which is nice. And then part of the certification, you have to pass a swim test where we had to tread water for 10 minutes and then we had to chase after the boat to prove that we could swim. And so there was just, it's been a very competitive, exciting yeah, day. Yeah, it's what? not safe. It's competition, it's what it's about. Right, yeah, safety, low prior, you know, of course, like, dive company, safety first. Between the four of us, competition high. <laughs> Apparently now we can start to record underwater. The second day couldn't have gone better. We had so much fun and it was way different actually like scuba-ing in a reef. I think it was easier because it was deeper. Before, like the first day, we were kind of bumping into each other. You had the tide, it was shallow. It was just like hard to navigate. Everyone was just like new and just getting their what wings under you. What do you say? Today was great, but now the real test. And by test, I mean the final exam that Emily and I are down here at the pool taking. Mark and Adam at Scuba Tony have just been so awesome. Like, I don't know, we just do all these tours and they're different ranges of all these different types of things. And this obviously isn't a tour, this is like becoming certified in scuba. It's just like the professionalism, the equipment, everything has just been 100% top notch. So it's funny sitting here in a pool but you know it's like serious and you have to be safe underwater so here we are taking <laughs> a final exam so um, best of luck to us that we pass the exam but what better setting to do it in this pool seconds after the exam I'm doing that okay <laughs> Just... <laughs> Certified, Patty certified, going on it. Our real first dive. Ah! Ah! Well done, everyone. Congratulations on passing your exams. Two Woo! more dives to go. Yes, Woo! yes. Wait, but who got the best score? Yeah, that's yeah, the best score. I'm going to tell people friend. that yeah. everyone passed. Oh, yeah. no. There's only winners here, okay? <laughs> so, that's north, okay? If you move it this way, it's gonna slightly change. So make sure it's always flat. Mm -hmm. Got a line, a red line in the middle. That's our love and line, okay? What I want you to do is take three steps forward. droning except you're the drone now but I just feel that you're just flying over the reef all that stuff so I feel like all the tricks we use to make drone shots interesting we're gonna have to learn how to do that underwater do what shark? shark shark turtle turtle with one hand one hand two hands <laughs> all right a uh, flounder flounder what's what's octopus <laughs> stingray okay. stingray Awesome! We're gonna see all of these. Yes! yes. Barracuda! Barracuda! Oh. Barracuda! What is this? Cha grouper! 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grouper! 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 Ah. grouper. Ah. Big mouth! Big mouth. Ah. Huge mouth! Okay. Grouper! Grouper!
yeah, that was awesome. That was so cool. Mexican <laughs> Star Wars. We just completed our first real day as real divers and it went awesome. Um, we saw the biggest lobster I've ever seen. Saw a huge grouper that came right out from behind Tim. And we had some fun playing around with our buoyancy and making poses for the camera. So we were having a good time just being like silly with the camera underwater and not worrying about different skills dive. Our ears have been kind of bothering us a little bit, so it's good that we have tomorrow off where we're gonna go explore the island and then we're back down underwater for another fun day on Friday. Bothering us in the sense that you're spitting up a little bit of like a blood mucus mix. It's, it's really an acquired taste. Right now I feel like I can hear at about 30% volume, but talking to the experts apparently we're, I'm sure we're fine. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow as we explore Cozumel. Even if you're subscribed, make sure you ring the bell icon so you're notified next week when we share the beginning of our road trip around the Yucatan Peninsula, including more diving outside Playa del Carmen.